Yes, it is. It's the Sam Livecast. It's Thursday, May 24th. Just before the Memorial Day weekend, church bells are going off. It's 6 o'clock. Thanks for joining us. What do we got going on? I've been told by numerous people in this group tonight that I've already been an asshole. (laughs) (laughs) Kelly's complained about me, said I was mean all day long. You were. Steve's complaining about me. Max said I I was walking around in circles in the kitchen. (laughs) I wasn't in circles. Walking around in circles yelling at everybody. No, I wasn't yelling at everybody, and I wasn't walking in circles. I was getting my stuff. Here's what... Look it. Here's what happens. This area of... uh, what? This area behind me is where I need to prep stuff before the show. And here's what Max does. Max comes here <laughs> at whatever time he does. And apparently he's not eaten for the past three fucking weeks. He hasn't eaten he, since the night before when he, he ha- left. He has to eat everything, make coffee, mess up, eat popsicles and leave otter pops and leave the juice of the wrapper cut on the scissors, on the thing. I got to clean it up. Have you heard the saying, make hay while the sun shines? <laughs> How about make cleaning while the dad gets mad, before the dad gets mad? And then, what was with the the Hawaiian rolls? Uh, What happened there? uh, It was was an accident, I guess. What'd you you do? I don't even want to know. I walked over, the bag was wide open. open. I must have been trying to find something and then I just forgot. A bun? Yeah. I'm a little little anal in my kitchen. I like to, and especially before the show, I like to make sure that it's nice and neat. Just a little. I, I mean, yeah, just a little. (laughs) Okay, I didn't get a chance to take a picture of this today, Uh but when I tell you what this license plate said, you tell me what you think it meant, because I know what I believe this term means. Okay. You know how you can have symbols on license plates? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? The first symbol is the hand. Boom. Right? Okay. Uh And then the letters P-L-A-Y, hand play. Hand play. Is that not some veiled reference to masturbation? <laughs> I guess. Is I, it not? I don't. I don't. I don't think so. I thought I was oh talking God. to Brian Kim. <laughs> what if he plays at a the time? Ball? We both. I go, dude. You got to see this license plate that I'm driving behind. <laughs> and I tell him he totally agrees. Absolutely. He goes, it'd be really funny if the car beside it was reach around. <laughs> 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 He's pretty funny. <laughs> I'm the only one that thinks that. Me and Brian Kim. Hand play? Let's think of what else Please. it could be. I, I, I still think it could be What else? could it be? He, he plays, he plays handball. Play? They yeah, were, maybe, they're, maybe they're a piano player? Right? No. I, I still think they play handball. No, handball's I don't think so. Well. Yeah. Hand play. Go to the handball's Urban Dictionary. It's a popular handball sport handball when too. you're eight years old. Get out Not of here. Not when you're driver. Hand play. If I search hand play, am I going to get... No, well, if you search, search virus, hand play. Virus. I know. Search no. hand play in the Urban Dictionary and see if anything comes up. No, Just I'd go to Zach's not. computer. It's already got the virus. Oh, God. <laughs> Leave the kid alone, man. He's 18. Yeah, but he's, he's su- not here to defend himself. I know, but he's 18. <laughs> he's supposed to be doing whatever it is you're hey, suggesting. Hey, hey, enough. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> There is no actual definition of hand play in the Urban Dictionary. There is play a hand. Oh no, it's God. not. A, but yeah. Somebody, um, somebody, um, oh. take my computer. You know what that is? Something delicious. Yeah. Is that Fritos in a burrito? That's a uh, beefy nacho burrito at Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. 99 cents. I know where I'm going to be. After this. Hey, you know what Would I had yesterday? Would, Would I eat it? that? I love Taco Bell. Yeah. I try not to go because I think it's probably some of the worst shit out there. Yeah. I'm sure it's terrible for you. I mean, go, bad in health terms. You'll go to Taco Bell with like three friends in one car and everybody will order so much food. Yeah. And you get to the front and they're like, that'll be three ninety five. <laughs> <laughs> That's, right. That's a, it's amazing. It's, I like the yeah. double the double wrap. <laughs> Oh, the double decker, you like. The du- yeah. what, what's it called? We've been getting double Dad, You introduced me to the double deckers probably double decker. 15 years ago. Soft, Soft on the outside, layer of refried beans. And then the hard shell. And then the hard shell. Hey, and so then all the regular taco stuff. So, do you have the Doritos taco yet? No. It's pretty good. Oh, I've. I <laughs> actually, I had it. It was. Pretty, is that it was like lame. Though. Sort of not the same thing. Here's the just thing. with the hard shell. It, it, it is. The same. It, Here's it, the thing. It's, it's the same, it thing. The same and thing. And tacos are just lame and boring when they have so many cool things there. So wow. that's why it's a little. Website. I was like, was I like this nice, taco. Max is like <laughs> hating on it. No, I. No, I like it. 
I almost went and got some of these tonight. We'll get them one night and have them before. Oh, I don't want to eat it cold, though. I want to eat it hot. That's Which is funny. Send Matt, someone during the show. Matt Shackle many writes, many hand play equals proctologist. <laughs> <laughs> Can oh, you it's imagine? like Ass Man from Seinfeld. Ass Man from Seinfeld. <laughs> oh, gosh. Wow. Uh, last night, we made those, uh, the lobster tails. Mm-hmm. And the one that Kelly didn't eat because she split. Uh, I made uh, tacos for Zach Ooh. later, so I took the I took the lobster meat out. It has already been cooked. Took the lobster meat out, cut it up, like you know, like little uh, dice size pieces. Oh. Sautéed it in a pan in a hot pan with just butter, mm. and then put it in a good corn tortilla that had been heated up with a layer of refried beans in it. Mm. Shit, was that good? Wow. You know what that was vaguely reminiscent of? What? The um, Puerto Nuevo lobster meals that you get. If you're not from uh, San Diego, you can go a half an hour across the border into Mexico to a little town called Puerto Nuevo. And they specialize in spiny lobsters. And spiny lobsters don't have the big claws. It's really all about the tail. My rice is ready. Uh, I was gonna say. All right, all right, stop people. It's all about the tail. So you, pretty much you go in and any restaurant, you order the same thing, you get the thing, and it comes. A giant, you order how many, however many lobsters you want, a giant plate of lobsters. And the fresh tortillas. And it's so Fresh cheap tortillas, there. excellent it's refried so beans, excellent rice. Oh, it's the best. Le- I mean, butter, I mean, it's unbelievable. And you make these warm, lobster burrito slash taco things that are crazy good there's a spiny lobster you got to do it but that that was my own little quick version that would be an excellent thing to make for memorial day weekend Mm -hmm. i got a bunch of things a bunch of food things to talk about for memorial day weekend not this but the new york post that's known for fantastic headlines Mm -hmm. we'll all remember the mother that tanned too much (laughs) in new york look at that headline (laughs) toast of the town what? Half wow. baked mom and Do you get it? Toast of the town? She's yeah. like toast? Half baked mom. No, I get it. Nobody finds that as funny I as like I it. do. I know it's oh, funny, yeah. Cool. Bunch of tools. <laughs> You're a bunch of tools. I like should we, it. Should we have yeah. a laugh track for you? <laughs> <laughs> Just the guy. Just yes. Hand play. <laughs> I know what that means. Nobody gets that. Dude. By the way, uh, if you're new to the Sam Livecast, there's a significant <laughs> audience that watches on Facebook. They actually watch on their computer with a Facebook window open at the same time, and they chat back and forth. You can ask questions there. Read a question. Somebody ask a, ask a question and watch. We'll answer it right now. Somebody. By the way, I've never been to uh, Rock and Baja Lobster. Ever. Never, huh? Have you? No, I actually haven't. I think about it. <laughs> Did you, you went, never, huh? <laughs> like everybody goes there, and I said, "If you and you went, no." That was one of those. That was one of those. <laughs> yeah. Huh, I'm trying to make this comment more. He was just <laughs> <laughs> like you were just there yesterday afternoon. <laughs> that was really just a yes. And are you kidding me? You have never been there. <laughs> when did you go last? Oh, I've never been there. Speaking of questions, yes. Can tofu be marinated? Asked Matt mm. Schenkel on mm. Facebook. Can it? It can. I don't know that it really soaks in. I think tofu takes sauces. Uh, after the fact, better than it does marinate. But I don't know, actually. I have a question while we're on the topic of tofu. We just blow off Matt Shankle's question? <laughs> yeah, I thought you're, you're done? Finished. Forget <laughs> it, Matt Shankle. We're finished, finished talking to you. Continue. I'm done. <laughs> oh, so you are done. But what I would say, like the tofu we made that night, the uh-huh. grilled tofu mm-hmm. with the stripes, the unbelievable stripes and the crispiness, mm-hmm. that sauce was really just sort of put on at the last minute before we put it on the grill. That's the way I've always done it. I don't really know. For some reason, Matt, I don't think that it really absorbs in. I don't think it's like a steak or a piece of chicken. I suppose you could like make little like pinpricks in it or fork holes or something, but no, I don't man. know if it. The way the Asians eat tofu? Yeah. Well, besides pouring it's all it done. plain. No, I mean, it's either fried or they put like, it's like a, you dip it in something. Or but right, the like sauce it. is added mm-hmm. either into the wok while it's being cooked or it's added after the fact, after it's been cooked. I'm starting to think that's a good question. Should you try to marinate tofu? I think it somebody, absorbs somebody flavor pretty up. well. I don't know if it does. I mean, no, no, no. Like, sorry, I don't mean like uh, in the sense of marinating. I mean, yeah. 
if you put a little bit of soy sauce with you know tofu, just like at the very end of cooking it, it'll taste soy saucy. I just know that I don't eat enough tofu. And I'm not saying it for health reasons. I know I like it a lot. I can't sell it to many people in this house. Yeah. Not very many people will eat it really? here. Really? Even the way so you cook it? I actually started, yeah. uh, since my girlfriend is a vegetarian, so I've been eating a lot of tofu. Um, that would actually be kind of a cool thing to do. Be- tofu dishes for non-tofu eaters. Well, I thought that tofu we made that night was excellent. Of course And it was, wasn't, yeah. you, don't, you don't have to be a vegan to like it or a vegetarian. No, I- anyway. It was good. And you know, remember who you made it for? You made it for Matt Gordon and Chef McCabe here. Oh, and that's they right. It. They did like it. Yeah, they liked the, it a lot. Two of the biggest chefs in San Diego. Two of the biggest chefs in, in San Diego. Hey, Sam, are you supposed to be doing something? <clears throat> oh, my God. All right. <clears throat> we did Who Eats This Shit on uh, mm-hmm. Monday night. Mm-hmm. It's back. No. Yes. No. Nope. It's back with a twist. No. Nope. Why well, you got to just... So you don't, you don't want any part of it. I don't know if I'm ready for this, man. Oh, dude. Come on. And I had to hide this. In a very big way, because I was concerned that if I didn't hide it, Max would find it. I'm just going to put it here and we can look at it, all right? Right here, Steve, on the cloth. And we're going to see if we can guess what it is. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh. <laughs> what the uh, heck? It's brain, dude. Is it brain? Ew. I wonder if I should take it out of the package. Zoom in. Zoom in. I want to see what it is. Do you want me to take it out of the package? What? It's a yes or no. I see arteries. In or out of the package? Oh, oh take it out. Take intestines. Here we go. Ew. Is it intestine? That's what I thought it was, too. Christ almighty. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love this. You couldn't have done this last this. night when I was out of here? I love this. Wow. That is very... Wait. Is that even edible? Oh. Like well, in that form? Gonna, oh, yeah. Are you Wait. gonna cook it? What's all oh, you're what? concerned about? Do that I hear you crying in there, big man? Okay, dude, I don't eat raw <laughs> stuff, so I say it's gonna be like. Mm. A well, I don't know how to say this without offending some of your people. Oh, but oh, but, but really, what is that? No, dude. <laughs> no, dude. What is, it? dude? Holy shit. What is that? Ah, God. Ew. I love how mad Kelly gets. Well, because that's just stupid. It just pisses her I off. You might just want to throw that bowl it away. It pisses her off tell so us. much. What is it? Ew. Uh, I'm not prepared Christ. to tell you what that is. Anybody want to guess? It does actually anybody, looks like raw chicken. Does anybody just watching just have any idea what that is? Oh, I know Yeah, what we've it is. had a few. What is it? Sweetbreads? Yeah. That has to be sweet. You didn't guess that, Kelly. No, no I Facebook, said we've had. <laughs> Facebook helped me guess oh that. Who, did, the, who Richard, did that right away? Richard Three did people. it right away. Richard, Denise, Dad, Trevor. you almost blew it. You left the box out that said sweetbreads. That <laughs> yeah, almost nice completely try. gave it away. <laughs> it's funny. It's not even true. Hand play. <laughs> I still can't get anybody going okay, with wait, me wait, on wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. We're not going to eat sweetbreads raw. We're not? No. Ooh. Check this out. I just want to do okay, this. No. Okay, because I actually like sweetbreads when they're cooked. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> For those that don't know, you want to elaborate on what sweetbreads are? Sweetbreads are the foodie word for the thymus gland. Yeah. And the thymus gland, am I right, is in here? Yeah, it's around there. It's around there. See if you can find a... Uh, like a... A and most sweet breads come from, am I right, a calf? Oh. Actually, your thymus gland really? seems to be in the middle of your chest. It is the middle of your chest? Oh. There it is. There's the thymic corpuscle. Wow. By just calling it thymic corpuscle, that sounds like something in biology class. <laughs> sound, doesn't it? It doesn't sound that much more appealing. Who's ready for some thymic corpuscle? Or whatever it was. So here's my question. <laughs> wait, wait, you're gonna cook that, right? Here's no. my. I didn't, I'm not cooking that. Well, well, I ain't eating it. You ain't cooking it, dude. That's crazy. Uh, here's what I want to know. I want to know who's in. I'm gonna Google uh, it first. You, I would die eating that. I would not make it through the night. How close could you get to eating that, Max? 
Could you take like about this close for the other room? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Could you take like a one half inch slice off the end of one of those and get it down? I've eaten sweet bread. That's cooked. No. Yeah. Again, cooked. I wouldn't even eat. Wait, far Dad, raw. is that your challenge? I that, would eat far to raw. eat raw sweet bread. Do you want right. to eat that shit raw? Right. Here's there? the deal. I'm gonna get up. I gotta get it for a second. You better get going with that. I know. Why? Here's the deal. I have a surprise. I know. What is the surprise? Are you, are you ready for the surprise? I guess, yeah. The, the surprise is this. The surprise is that I am not... <laughs> yeah, whose phone is it? My mom's phone just keeps just, dinging. The surprise is that I am not uh, going to cook the sweetbreads. Oh, what the heck? The surprise is that Chef oh, Matt Gordon oh, nice. is going to cook the sweetbreads. <laughs> That's why my phone was going. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How good with your glands. How great. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Matt. Hello, Matt. All right, so. Okay, that works. Our favorite. Thank works. you very much. <laughs> yes. Well, by the way. Wait, so you can just get one of the best chefs in Santa to come over to your house and cook sweetbreads. <laughs> I just I just will it, and he shows up at the front door. Oh, How wow. is that? That's beautiful. That's awesome. <laughs> and that's why my phone was digging, Matt. That was, that was Matt telling us that okay. he was five minutes away, and then he was at the front door. Wow. Well, and that worked out. She didn't, yeah. I was, I was afraid I was going to miss it. Yeah, yeah. I, I would eat anything, Matt. But here's the thing. But here we're gonna put a we're gonna put a mic on you. Okay. Steve will get Steve will get you mic'd up, and then I will get. No, this is cool. I like this. This is good. Good this surprise, is, this right? Is good. This is a better surprise. Mm -hmm. This is a good surprise. I, I, I seriously thought for a second you're gonna make me eat that raw. And, and you know what? I thought you were gonna have to eat it raw. To be honest, I I actually I probably would not Matt Matt says he doesn't think you can do that. I, I don't it think, hurt, it wouldn't hurt you. honestly, I don't think I could do that. You want to try it? Slice off a little piece there. Do it, Sam. Can you lean up there? Do it. <laughs> he even came with his own pan and his own giant chef. That's a left-handed knife. Super sharp knife. I just found out that you were left-handed. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. We shot a commercial yesterday. Two days ago. Two days ago, we shot a commercial. All right. I had, uh, all right, so, but, so now you need to explain. So, so here's the deal. Thymus gland, um, Matt makes amazing sweetbreads. Amazing. And I love sweetbreads. And if you haven't had them before, they're, they're, um. So, so here's the deal. I mean, <laughs> this is something people used to eat all the time. But as processed foods and, you know, people got used to seeing those pretty little packs of red in the white styrofoam tray. Yeah. We forgot how to eat like the rest of the animal. Everybody is this wants. part considered awful? This is awful. Yes. Any organ is considered awful. O-F-F-A-L. -F -F yes. So, you know, this is raw. So sweetbreads traditionally are from veal, a young cow packed up in a little teeny crate that can't move and it's fed with a bottle and, and that's not good, right? Right. So, um, there's a couple options. They're, they are doing some cow sweet breads, and you can buy them from like Brant Farms around town here. Uh, but these are veal sweet breads. But there's a company now called Strauss Veal. They've been around for years, but a few years ago, they got rid of all the crates. Yeah. And they got two kinds of veal you can buy. They have pasture raised, which is grass fed, lives in the field, take the cow, it's done. Yeah. And they have sort of the version of free range or group raised, they call it. They got a little cabin they live in that they get to go outside and eat hang out inside, hang out outside. And that's what we buy. So d d let me ask you this question. Uh, does it affect the veal? I mean, yeah. So pasture raised veal is not white. Yeah, it's red inside. So it's still a young cow flavor, though. I love it. It's terrific. How does it compared to it's, the crate? It's a little more beefy for sure. Yeah. So you know, th the white happens because it's never eaten anything with, you know, the normal things that little cows would would right, or should right, eat. It right. just eats formula, baby formula for all intents yeah. and purposes. Right. So um, this is the thymus gland yes. of the cow. It comes just from the neck area. Just discuss that. Okay, cool. So to do this, any organ meat, we usually, why well, I said you don't eat it raw, usually we soak them for a day. Right. So we do this with hearts or livers or this. So does that milk. take the bitter out? Well, it takes the impurities out. So I, I don't know if there, I could make something up that's probably not real, but like, you know, the <laughs> specific gravity of milk acts upon the fluids inside it and it draws out the extra blood right. or other stuff that's in there. So it takes some of the impurities out and then for the best way to do sweetbreads is we blanch them in a little vinegar and water or lemon juice and water for 10 minutes. Yeah. And then we press them. We put them in a container with a pot over it and we s press them and that gets any excess liquid out. Right. And they're very firm now. They're very firm now. They still look kind of gross, right? They, they look more brain-like here. Yes, they do. Than, than there. There they're organ-like. Here they're... 
So the actual tissue structure here, yeah. that's the same tissue structure that is in our brain. Oh, it is? Yeah. So Things are really getting so much better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Really similar. So I need some stuff need? to cook with. How about, uh, how about some whiskey and some butter and a little mustard? Okay, so butter. Whiskey we have. <laughs> so we're just going to get this pan hot. If I can figure out this stove, there it is. We're going to get that oil in there and some salt and pepper. Salt pepper's right there with you. All right. How's this? Perfect. Is that enough? That's good. What do you want? Do you want tongs? Do you want... Uh, yeah, tongs are fine. Tongs of this kind, or do you want the, nah, those? we'll do those. Do you want one of these? Does this help? No. We'll take that fish no. spatula. The no. fish spatula, good fish, for everything. Fish slice. And what did you say? You said a uh, whiskey? Whiskey. Yeah, we'll do the simple. And mustard. Yes? Sure. I think you brought that. I, yeah, I think I did. Doug, yes, can you did. ask Matt? All right, so we're going to season these up a little bit. Yep. Say that again, Max. I want to know if this is one of the recipes at the restaurant. Well, uh, is this anything you like you do at the restaurant? Uh, at the restaurant, I brush them in mustard, and then I pickle shard yeah. and do a mustard jus with, with <sighs> wow. beef stock that we make. So I have grainy juice. mustard. I have Dijon. I have grain. We'll do grain. grain. So, you know, this is really simple because you could do this, what we're about to do, with just like mustard and butter and a little whiskey. You could sear off a chicken breast, you could cook a piece of fish, just sear it in a pan, take the fish out, and then hit the pan with the rest of that stuff and make yourself a quick little sauce. Wait, maybe I don't have grainy. I've got this. Will that work? No. No. Well, that tastes like a pastrami sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so wait. Well, that I like. So Dijon's fine. <laughs> Dijon's fine? Yeah. I had some grainy. Where did I use the grainy? Hold on. For your pretzels? No, no. I was going to say, in that pantry that I know that there is. There you must be. No, no, don't say that. Don't say there you know be. that. I know, I just used some for some event or something that I was at. Oh, here we go. Course Found de Jean? Ah, perfect. That's, That's great. Work, right? Great. Thank you, Kel. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. Oh, wait. For. Yep. Uh, I already opened it. No, it's okay. <laughs> this shouldn't have been Yeah, you gotta use mustard on something. So we wanna take that pan till it's just almost at the smoke point. Right. And one oh, my great bad. way to test that, if you got some meat, is you just sort of set the edge in there, and if it doesn't stick, you're ready to go. Mm. So oh. here we go. Wow. Here, here we, we go. Every day. This is amazing. Here we go. No, no, uh, we, turn it away. A little more salt on that side. Turn a couple turns of fresh pepper on there. So it's essentially cooked though, yes? Yeah, you know, the, depending I mean, on the size of it, you know, sometimes it's a little pinker in the middle than this after right. blanching, but we press these ones a little extra long and we want to be able to cook them quick because they take about 10 minutes. In the restaurant, what we do is we'll sear them up so they get a really nice brown on one side. Yeah. We flip them over. Come this way so Steve can see in here. Flip them over, we brush them with mustard, and then we actually throw them in the oven for about eight minutes, and that roasts that mustard on there real nice. And oh, they look so much better. Kelly. <laughs> Kelly, will you even have a bite? No. Not, e not even I a chance. I did that once by accident. I drove all the way here, happen. and you're not going to try these? In the middle of service. On a, I have a whole kitchen flailing. I know. <laughs> like, like Matt, like really, like, do you want a drink? Yes. What would you like? <laughs> How about whiskey with some butter and mustard in it? <laughs> would, you like some, would you like a little whiskey? Sure. <laughs> How do you like it? Two cubes, splash of water. There you go. All right. So I'm going to now just hit this pan with a little of the mustard. Sorry. And I think a lot of people would be tempted to put liquid in there first, but I actually want this mustard to cook. So I'm going to let it sort of sit there on the heat a little bit. The seeds might pop, which is cool. Really? Just right there? Yeah, I feel like I would have to put water in there. No. And you're saying no? No. Cook the mustard first, and then I'm probably going to move the camera back to this one or I'll melt it. Yeah, we'll do this over here. And, you know, if we wanted to be like fancy, we could make that flare up, but... We just want to get some liquid in the pan there. And I think we'll add a little water to it just because we keep burning away that whiskey. There we go. That mustard up off the bottom of the pan. See, you know what? If it was uh, a matter of buying sweetbreads and just cooking them, it would be one thing, but it takes you 
what, two days to get to the point where they are now. You know, I think, that, again, that's part of a generational difference with food here. You've got, you know, people that are just used to opening a package and right. whether you're microwaving it or you're just, uh, you know, throwing it on the barbecue and you're done, things have changed. And in the old days, we used to spend a little more time on stuff. So, boom, we got a little bourbon mustard sauce. We finished that with some butter. It smells you, great. Can't wait to eat it. Oh, no, I done. can't wait Easy. either. That was it? That's it. God, it's too bad that nobody here wants these. Lynn didn't want them. Max doesn't want them. Steve doesn't want them. What a shame. Lynn, you'll eat silkworms, but you won't eat. Lynn, do you want to come fine, take a, a uh, quick picture? Yeah. No. Any herbs lying around? I can't believe Lynn's not going to eat that. No, I'm making a joke. Wow, look at that. Okay, so these things are stupid. They're going to be stupid good. And then, you know, it's pretty rich. The meat's pretty rich and the uh, sauce is pretty rich. So you get a little scallion or chive on there to kind of brighten it up, break through the fat. Oh, I had chives outside. We got, I was going to say, we got good chives. This is Looks really amazing. Nice bon appetit. We'll wait till these guys finish. I got to have a bite. Do you want a bite? Yeah. It goes with the whiskey. I like to drink what's in my food, you know? I like that. No, I like that too. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not doing that, but Cheers. I didn't know where you wanted to go with this. Okay, this is actually really boring television now. <laughs> Let me just pimp you and uh, your growing... Let's pimp Carnita's Snack Shack. Oh, what we were there today. What yeah, a great, yeah, yeah. great yeah, yeah, yeah. place for lunch that is. Hannes Calvin did a nice job with that triple pork sandwich. You were there, Sam? Yeah, oh. Matt bought me lunch. Matt and Young Me mm. bought me lunch. I'm jealous. Mm. Come on, eat this, guys. Oh my God. Delicious. Don't be scared of, of weird bits from the animals. Back in the day, what are you looking for? Fork. Oh, yeah. more forks. These guys know where to go. Matt, Jeff is asking what kind of side dish would you serve with that? You could, you know, right now, just the sort of simple thyme, may, you know, roasted Brussels sprouts out of the garden or, you know, take some asparagus or green beans, toss them in a little oil and just roast them in your oven, put them on your grill, mm. something quick and easy. I like all that stuff. Yeah. No, it's... <laughs> The flavor is delicious. I mean, uh, I don't know how you couldn't enjoy this. I know. It's, it's great. It's it tastes so like, good. And it does, you know, it is reminiscent of veal, like a good veal chop. It has the similar exactly flavor right. to it, whereas, you know, it's not. And so how different flavor if it didn't come from a little baby cow? It's not that different. They're just, they're chalkier. They're not yeah. as, you know, when the cow is alive longer, it gets more impurities and such in it. So Matt has two restaurants in San Diego, Urban Solace and North Park. Yep that I went down today to pick this up, to pick this up and this so I could gross you out early. And Solus in the Moonlight Lounge in uh, Encinitas. Is that right? Thing. I was just gonna <laughs> say, I think this is officially the first time. And his food is amazing and he's uh, probably the nicest chef I know in town. Definitely. Really For sure. He's a super good guy. He helps with anything that I need help with. You are involved in many more charitable organizations than I am. Yeah. I can't thank you enough, and the city loves you for that. We cook together. I think I talked about this once at the uh, East Mesa Juvenile Detention Facility. We did a thing for the boys that were down there. We're going to do a thing for the, the girls' uh, facility. Yep. Oh, that's cool. It's cool, right? I didn't know that. Yep. And that's I told great. them, just make sure that they're cute girls. Yeah. That'll help the whole I'm thing scared. along. I'm, I'm a little nervous. Beat because <laughs> yeah. that, was a, that was an amazing experience. Yeah. Fun. Anyway, this is not something that you needed to do, and I really appreciate yeah, you taking the time to, to come down here. Breaths. And as if he doesn't have enough to do with all his restaurants and his young children, he's going to Paris next week. Yeah, Paris and Belgium. Do you get uh, Do you get Bon Appetit? I do. Yes, I have. You see that I one? That, the Paris. I, have that. Oh, well. I haven't read it yet. I'm going to take it off. There the was plane. my There was my little thank you gift to uh, you tonight. I got it. Anyway, thank you, you can stay. I'll have a seat on the couch. You can go. You can have anything you want. I'm going to have a little more sweet breads. I'm going to have a little more sweet breads too. You guys, come on, eat this, really. I want some. Try this. Kelly? Mm -hmm. Fish, Steve. Mm. I'll just give you that, and you can take that over there. And wow, it's delicious. It's mm -hmm. like white ribeye. It's so good. <laughs> All right, let me get my chair back. Okay, that was a... Tr oh, this camera. Come Hold have on. a seat, Matt. Okay, Max, can you switch to... There we go. Yeah, sorry. Hold on.
Wow. Look, I'm just making a mess of everything. Okay, that was a real treat. Thank you, Matt. You're welcome. That was totally cool. Steve will take back his mic when you get a second. I have these on the table because I was at, what's it called now, Kelly? It's not Henry's anymore. Not Sprouts. Sprouts. I was at Sprouts today buying bulk spices because as I've said, they are so much cheaper. This was like three bucks and is more than will go in one of those uh, jarred containers. And those jar containers are seven bucks, six, seven, five, six, seven bucks. You can't get this stuff this cheap in a jarred glass container. It's the packaging, it's the trucking, it's the whole thing. Chili powder I need for tomorrow a lot for my class, cumin. Find the bulk version of it. You'll be glad you did. And your wallet will be glad you did. Yeah, where do you buy sweetbreads? Matt, where do you buy? The question is, where do you buy sweet breads? And we can't really hear you all that well. You have to get them from a supplier. You just can't. You could probably, if Cecil's doesn't have it, you could probably just ask them to get it for you because they buy meat from the same people we do. They do. So, yeah. I see. Or other places like that in town. Yeah. Uh, look, you're not good. The, the simple point is you're not going to the supermarket and asking for sweet breads. In the old they days. may be able to get them actually for you. I mean, you can ask for things, but... But back in the day when people didn't have a lot of money, they ate every part of the animal. And that's where this happened. And now it's back in fashion again. You see sweetbreads on a menu, and you know what they are. Don't rush away from them, rush to them. I think that's what you should do. It's a wildly misleading name. Sweetbreads? Isn't it? It's not sweet nor bread. Yes. Yes, it's neither sweet nor bread. And for the longest time before I knew, I thought that sweetbreads was the term for brain. Somehow. Mm. Is your brain being eaten out there, Matt? Yeah, no. No. It just doesn't. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't know. I don't know if it's actually legal to sell right now, just because of some of the, oh. the like stuff mad, that you can get. Like mad cow. That are out there yeah. oh, I see. Diseases. Like beef coming from other countries, you can't even bring in bone in beef. You have to buy like fully trimmed out oh. just because of the mad cow disease and stuff. So. And, uh, and how does that make a difference? Well, beef is beef, no? No, I, like a ribeye. You know, we buy, we use grass-fed ribeyes in the restaurant. There's yep. only one company in the states that I know, or two, that are doing like a real nice grass-fed ribeye. And right. If you roast one for prime rib, you really want to do a bone-in. Yeah. And we've been using some grass-fed from Uruguay, from uh, Estancia grass-fed beef, but you can't buy the ribeye bone-in because you can't sell it that. They can't import it with the bones on. Oh, I see. And then you don't get the bones for stock and all that stuff. So. Ugh, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. All right. Well, it is what it is. Uh, but the point is, ladies and gentlemen, uh, God invented restaurants for the things that you can't make, don't want to <laughs> make, or don't know how to make. True. Am I right? True. And the rest of the time he invented, uh, cooking classes like I'm doing tomorrow night at Fixtures Living. Sorry it's sold out, Already. but Fixtures Living is a place that you could go to and hang out at. You could learn how to cook some things there because on Fridays they do a thing called Fixtures Fridays where they demo badass pieces of equipment give you samples of food you get to see how things are done they have an executive chef in the in the building here in san diego i have a question yes sir is it always food and on fridays yeah as opposed to no i mean like do they children <laughs> are they are they cooking children when they demo things because they don't just sell kitchen appliances or just things like that in nature but um yes that, it's always food i mean like, you can always see stuff but i think it i think the, the fixtures friday started as a way to say thank you to the people that had been in there all week uh, looking at stuff buying things the designers that were bringing clients in that kind of stuff mm -hmm. and i go there most fridays and just sort of hang and and talk to people and what you'll see at like big cool giant slab of wood tables mixed in and around the the showroom you'll see people there having lunch with giant sets of plans and like you know eight sets of faucets out and they're trying to decide which one they want to put in the bathrooms and the kitchens and stuff like that they're going through 
I mean, it's a showroom, but it's got everything that you need. It's not just pretty, it's functional and all the stuff is there. So people show up with their clients or their uh, designers and they sit down and they go through all this stuff. That's the kind of place that Fixtures is. Dig it. It's the kind of place that you would go if you really wanted to give some consideration to the important things in a kitchen, in a bathroom, in outdoor areas of your home. Anyway. Amen. Come tomorrow, hang out for a little bit. I'll be there and then I got a class and whatever. <laughs> we love you, Fixtures. We do love you, Fixtures. I want to talk about Memorial Day. Food. And I, ha I have a minor slideshow on my computer now that we can look at with things that we've made here on the live cast. Mm -hmm. The and first thing we'll start with, sorry. Sorry, wait, and I want Matt Gordon to think about what his number one Memorial Day yeah, item I'm would so be. I'm so curious about what mm -hmm. someone like a Matt. Wait, we were gonna go through the pedestrian things first. That's why he can give us his at the end. And then go to the professional. Yes. By the way, Lynn has just snuck back out again to eat, <laughs> to eat more of the sweetbreads. Steve, have you had? No, I haven't had a chance. You haven't? But I, it would just be so funny to know that Matt just cooks up some regular old hot dogs. On Memorial We're going to find out. <laughs> I think, uh, here, you can put it on here, Lynn. No, no, wait here. There, I'm sorry. I thought I meant you can put it on here, Lynn. It was pretty obvious. <laughs> Man, don't put the scratchy plate on my table. Oh, and really quickly. Yeah. The Friday event might be sold out, but there's a June 22nd Apre Father's Day event. Oh, I just put that on. Click on it, and look, here's the food for the Apre Father's Day class. It's actually, no, down there in the middle. There you go. Mm -hmm. uh, beer, bourbon, and tequila things. I, I, you know, whatever. This is food that's meant to appeal to a father. I've hit the three areas. Bourbon, beer, and tequila. Oh, that looks amazing. Carne asada fries. Shrimp yeah. tacos, pulled chicken sandwiches, cedar plank salmon, Whoa. carne asada fries, uh, bacon shepherd's pie. Oh. I put my bacon in the mashed potatoes that go on top of it. Nice. No way. And what was the last thing on there, Maxie? My dad's yeah. amazing waffle ice cream. Oh. My dad's waffle. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't do the first Father's Day since my father passed away and not doing the dessert that he inspired, mm -hmm. which is really a very stupid thing when you think about the elements that are waffle and ice cream and peanuts and pancake syrup or maple syrup, but they're so delicious. Remember when we had it? Yeah, hey, amazing. we're What's, pulling up the picture. The Give me a sec. The cocktails? So if you go back and you oh, show yeah. the cocktail, there it is. Yeah. Look at the ring. There it is. Look are at you that. wearing the ring? Here's a ring right here on my hand. Not a boy. The cocktails, it didn't specify. It said beer, bourbon, and tequila things. Do you yeah. know why? Why? Because when I put that menu up, I didn't know what I was going to make yet. <laughs> that gives me, I've still got between now and June 22nd to come up with what those things are supposed to be. Well, you make excellent cocktails, so I shouldn't be. Well, thank you very mm -hmm. much. Bourbon All right, let's cherry. look at these pictures. Bourbon cherry lemonade. Oh, yes. That's in my class tomorrow night. Tomorrow night's class is called <laughs> the Perfect San Diego Barbecue. Cherry bourbon lemonade is one of my favorite Hubbard's things. perfect any barbecue. That's the mm. best cocktail. If you're going to make one cocktail this weekend, make the cherry bourbon lemonade. Go to thecookingguy.com and find the recipe. It's yeah, it's right great. There. It's a good one. It's a piece of cake. Mm -hmm. It's nice on a hot day. It's bourbon, it's lemonade, and it's a jar of maraschino cherries. It's just oh. a little tiny bit of the juice poured in and a couple of the cherries skewered and dropped into the glass. It's perfect. Do we have a picture of that anywhere? Uh, we See if you guys find it. it. Let me go through this. Okay, so here's the little, what I think you could make for Memorial Day, and I've gone outside with my thinking because it's the official start to summer, and even if where you live sucks, mm -hmm. go through some of this stuff. All right. <laughs> These are the ballpark hot dogs. Mm -hmm. They're hot dogs that I boil first, then I finish on the grill, and underneath the layer of the cheese is uh, sautéed red onion and bacon yep. that goes on the dogs. So good. Super delicious, right? Those are the pesto shrimp. Large shrimp skewered lengthwise like this, not in the C shape. Dipped in pesto, thrown on the grill. Two freaking ingredients, ladies and gentlemen. Three if you count the stick. <laughs> bacon wrapped scallops. And I don't remember what I used. I'm a big pro proponent of keeping a selection of Asian sauces in your fridge. And that could have been some thick teriyaki sauce. 
It could have been Okonomiyaki sauce. It could have been almost anything. You're a proponent of more than just Asian sauce. No, I know. I love Asian. Er Wait, what are you saying? <laughs> the people aren't bad. That's what he's saying. What are you saying, Max? <laughs> I do like, I do, I've, I have all things Asian. Yes, you are. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> I know what you're saying. <laughs> all right, I dated a few Asian girls when I was uh, in my late teens. A few? He, oh, likes, few. he likes Asian <laughs> women, if, if yeah, anybody it, doesn't it, know that. <laughs> what is it? Uh, does it really matter? I'm a Jewish male. I don't know what it is. Like She's like, <laughs> right. See this? She's married to right. Right. This Mrs. Matt Gordon. One. She's Korean. She's Korean. Right. right. Nice. nice. Sam's dream girl. <laughs> right. Right. Not only is she Korean, but she's in charge of the alcohol program at the uh, Solace restaurants. She can drink you under the table. She can drink. <laughs> and she's, okay, enough. The scallops you need to make. Big sea scallops. Wrapped in bacon, skewered on the grill, rubbed with sauce once they start to get some color on them. Anything you take off the grill, give them one more brushing of sauce mm -hmm. before you present them, before you serve them. And then a little green onion and sesame seed on there is, of course, going to make them look beautiful. Check this out. For the vegans in the group, Max, you make this for Jilly. Yeah. Well, This is the uh, grilled eggplant parmesan. Oh. Not the fatty, heavy dredged in breadcrumb and then dipped yeah, in oil or ew. cooked in oil thing. These are slices of eggplant on the grill. And the thick sauce that they usually serve on eggplant parmesan, I've replaced with the thick slices of tomatoes, just drizzled with a little olive oil oh, nice. on the grill as well. I'm telling you, this it's stupid good. Hey, it's I know you don't like it when I do this, Yes, but... If you're not a fan of eggplant, you could replace that eggplant with a portobello mushroom, and it would be epic. You know what? I'm okay with that now. Okay. Wow, that's a first. I, I did portobello <laughs> mush. I did a portobello mushroom burger mm -hmm. when I shot at the zoo because I chose not to do anything animal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, actually, and it was really good. Typically, you're very upset when Max goes yeah. in there. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Here's what I don't like. I don't like when people say, "Oh, dude." Yeah, fuck it. You should make a portobello mushroom. They taste just like steak. Then eat a steak. <laughs> Stupid substitute it with a mushroom. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Sticky sweet ribs. Max had these here Ooh. Sunday night. Yes. They're delicious. I helped you cook them. They're easy to make. He helped me cook them. We went through the pictures. And even though I've got a world-class chef sitting 12 feet away from me, <laughs> I will share that the sauce ingredients are... <laughs> Kraft barbecue sauce, brown sugar, and Aunt Jemima pancake syrup. Woo. Thank you very much. There you go. <laughs> Applause. I like to hear that. <laughs> Continuing on, uh, the chili rubbed grilled chicken and avocados that no. we did the other night. Oh. So good. That, how good was that? Oh, so man. good. Olive oil and chilies, kosher salt and pepper, that was it on the chicken. And then slices of avocado done on the grill as well. Oh no! Wait, there was brown sugar somewhere in there. Where was the? What the hell was the brown sugar in there? <laughs> it's to the bottom right, actually. Yeah. No, 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 no. It was brown. It was chili and uh, brown sugar, yes. olive oil, kosher yep. salt, pepper on the chicken. Mm -hmm. Damn, that looks good. Lynn, your pictures make my food look so good. <laughs> no. Last night's um, Dijon mustard. I'm gonna forget things. Dijon mustard butter. Butter. butter garlic. Uh, thyme. Garlic, green onion, green onion uh, grilled lobster tails. They were so good. That was amazing. Anybody was could make any of these recipes. And you know where you can find them? Like I can. Where? The samlifecast.com slash recipes. Yeah. And you know what I forget, Lynn? I forget that you can go to the search box up there and type totally. in mm -hmm. lobster or caviar or bread or chicken or whatever. And anything we've done in that category will come up. Mm -hmm. Search pizza. Wait. All right. I'm not someone. Wait. I got a couple more. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Pizza will come up. This is the uh, the grilled um, salmon mm. uh, sandwich. You don't want to do. Um, Delicious. My food looks great. It does. It does look good. You, you don't want to do meat. You don't want to do chicken. You don't want to do steak sandwich. That's fine. Little piece of salmon grilled. Tomato, the little sauce we made. Super delicious. 
The wow. grilled peach and blueberry pie we did yes. a couple weeks a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're grilling, pe- we're grilling pies, avocados, pizzas, lobster tails, lobster tails, and those artichokes. Kelly, where the oh, art- where the artichokes. baby artichokes come from? <laughs> Excuse me, specialty produce. Yeah, they did. They came from specialty. That was good. And by the way, you were supposed to go today oh. to get my. Food I know I didn't go. You didn't go. By the way, I, I that was my first time at cooking baby artichokes. It was, it was. and they're super easy because there's none of that nasty choke shit on the inside. Mm-hmm. That's it. All right. Six I like list. that slide chart. Are you cooking anything today? or was, I am going to cook something. You are? I'm going to do a little shrimp scampi thing. Yeah, oh. you know what? Because Becky spied the rice cooker back oh, there. Oh, she did? Yeah. Oh. She's good. She and I good. don't even know. No, but now I'm a little anxious because I've got... Oh, yeah, I would be. I got him here. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what, 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 we haven't asked him. What do you, what do you oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's oh, get yeah, to that. Yeah, Matt. Give him the mic. Give him the mic, Matt. So Matt's got... Matt's got I've, been, to, I've been judging your food since the minute I walked. I know. You <laughs> Matt has... Um, just let me say, there, there are a few chefs in town that, that don't like me. I've talked about it before. I mean, I don't know what their deal is. <laughs> They're jealous of my empire of what? No <laughs> restaurants, no nothing, right? But somehow I piss people off. Somehow. Matt, from the second that I met him, at a charity event... Uh, early TV morning show plug for the event years ago. The Mama's Kitchen event. Yep. He accepted me as just a, a guy that cooked, and we've been friendly ever since. Not four, everybody's yeah, like you, man. Four years, I think it's been. Yeah, four, I think maybe four? I was going to say five. No. No, four. Urban <laughs> Solace hasn't been open for five years yet. So. Oh, it hasn't? No way. No. This year's oh, five. Wow. Your Urban Solace, baby. Right. Yeah. I had to say Urban Solace a couple times, right? Yeah, you say Urban Solace, Urban Solace, Urban Solace. You'll be all over the website now. Hey, all right. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, just going to yeah. say, whenever someone comes to San Diego, Matt, I recommend them to Urban Solace. Me That's too. the yeah, first same. restaurant I tell them to go to. Thank you. So, oh, and all my friends. I've got a ton of friends. who I live in Cardiff, so I've got friends all, up, all over North County, especially Encinitas and stuff. And so I've been sending a lot of them down to the 101 to Perfect. the north, bo- north spot. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Keep it coming. All right. Memorial anyway, Day. Anyway, all right. Let's so you're a great chef. Yes. No, sometimes, maybe. <laughs> You're most excellent. You do amazing things with, with simple ingredients. Let's talk Memorial Day at your house. Um, I'd if buy you weren't working. Six lobes of foie gras. <laughs> oh, and a whole goat. I'd, I'd take a whole goat and wrap it in bacon. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> something I'm really excited about this year, uh, California King salmon. As you know, I'm, I'm a huge salmon fan. We buy yep. wild sockeye year-round from a fisherman. Um, California hasn't had a king salmon season since 2004 until this year. They opened it up finally. Wow. And oh, so, right, I didn't know like that. in the last week, California kings have started running in. And much like you, when I'm at home, I honestly don't cook that often at home, unfortunately. You and me cooks? We're just not home. Oh, <laughs> that's true. No, you guys work a lot. <laughs> we eat out a lot, too. Yeah. Um, I make cereal a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I love cereal. Um, but I like barbecuing too. You know, it's easy. I, yeah. When I cook in the kitchen, I use 15 pans to make one dinner. So if I can grill, I do. Do you really? I do. Yeah, it's a pain. My wife. Do you hate it? I don't, but my wife does because yeah. she's got to <laughs> clean it up. Um, but California King salmon, you know, aside from sockeye salmon, is the best thing in the world. And it's thick and hearty. And, and where are you buying it right now? You know, we buy from a couple different companies. Yeah. So we have uh, King Salmon on the menu at Urban and Steelhead, which is from Oregon, on the menu in Solace right now, which is... Sort of a salmon. But is it steelhead is more like... Uh, steelhead is fascinating. It, it, it's less salmon and more... Trout. Right. It is all, all salmon and trout are in the same family of fish, the salmon day family. But a rainbow trout will have its eggs, you know, in the river somewhere or a lake somewhere. Right. And literally, like, some of those fish that are born in that one spawn yeah. will stay in the lake and stay rainbow trout and, you know, grow to a foot and be all... Rainbow trout looking. Happy in a yeah. And the other ones just go, decide to go somewhere else, and they end up in the ocean, and they turn into steelhead, and they get to be, you know, huh. six to nine pounds, huge. How is wow. that possible? It's, there's a word for it, like andro- andorphous or something. I don't right. remember the word. But uh, <laughs> the one thing that's different between salmon and those steelhead, although they do look really similar inside and out, right. is, and there's... There's a steelhead. Is that a steelhead? Yeah. 
Yeah, so kind of looks like a rainbow trout and a salmon. Is that together. funny? Right. The one, you know, salmon, when they come back to fresh water to have their children, yeah. they die. They can't survive the oh. return to fresh water. Huh. Steelhead do it a number of times. So they can come and go a couple, three times in their interesting. life. Interesting. It's very interesting. So I like salmon better, but it's a good fish too. We're buying it actually through somebody, but from a native tribe in Oregon that has this, this uh, no kidding. sustenance rights to fish it. Oh, so cool. It's kind of cool. Okay, so thank you for the uh, lesson. <laughs> Sorry. What the fuck are you going to make on Memorial Day? <laughs> I'm I think that's work. where we started with this. I'm so working. let's, okay, in a, in um. I would make barbecue sauce from scratch. I have a really easy, simple recipe Ooh. for a sort of a spicy, sweet barbecue <gasps> sauce. Yeah. I would put salmon on the grill, squeeze some fresh lemon, maybe sprinkle some brown sugar on while it's cooking, brush it with barbecue sauce at the very end. Throw some asparagus on because we're about three weeks away from the end of the real asparagus season in California. Oh. You know, roast some potatoes in the oven, be done with it. And nice. then what happens? Then the fake asparagus season happens? That starts coming from farther I want to make oh, all of that. I want to make everything. Who doesn't want to make all that? So check this out. So uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday uh, there's the San Diego Bay One Food Festival that comes up God knows when. November? Yeah. I think it's November. I've done commercials for them for the past... Uh, I don't know, mm-hmm. three, four years, whatever. So they say, will you do the commercials this year? I go, yes. So they go, here's what we do. We want to have some chefs at your house. And the commercial will be this. You go, hey, this uh, San Diego Bay Wine and Food Festival is coming up. It's so great. It's like having uh, a whole bunch of chefs up here at your house, only better. And the idea is I say all that, you know, the beginning part by myself, and then the camera widens out, and I've got chefs in my kitchen. And so I had Bernard Guias from the Marine Room, Brian Malarkey from Burlap, Herringbone, Gingham, Jeans, I don't know, Corduroy, <laughs> Silk, Satin, oh, whatever the hell else is, <laughs> and uh, the amazing Chef Gordon. So I, I've actually been here since then. I, <laughs> he I hasn't left. On the couch. <laughs> so I'm in the middle. I've got Brian Malarkey on one side of me with a blender that he's going to, you know, when the camera pulls out and I go, it's like having a kitchen full of chefs. Brian Malarkey's working a blender. I put some chives in and some water, just make some green stuff happening. Bernard, I put at the stove back, sort of keep him away because he's too much in your face. <laughs> I love him, but he's French. And you know what happens to the French? Let's hear the French accent. They're right there, man, in your face. <laughs> hey, hey, man, what's happening? Let me come get right in the front of your show. I'm going to do some things for you that are fantastic. When you let me be on TV with you, man. I've been friendly with Bernard for a long time, but Bernard is Bernard. I mean, come on, right? That was pretty spot on. Thank Except you. Except for the end, you sort of choloed out. I know. How about this? How about, here's here's classic Bernard. Here's classic Bernard. He walks in the front door. He's here three steps in my front door. I go, Hey, Bernard, how are you doing? He goes, hey, I just came back from Nantucket. That sounded... No, I was just in Nantucket cooking at some big uh, food display thing. Every time you see Bernard, hey, Bernard, how are you? You never know how he is. You find out where he's been. <laughs> hey, Bernard, how you doing? Oh, I just came back from Hong Kong. I was there doing some food thing. Oh, I was just in Singapore. Did I ask you? Doing doing all of I know you're actually. Yeah. No, I don't think it is. <laughs> it's still pretty. Anyway, close. anyway, right? So we've got Bernard, and here's Matt. Do you make, so fun, this of, do you make fun of me when I'm not around? Too? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, no, I don't, dude. Wait, I just not a we got to cook, Obviously, Sam. Watch the show. <laughs> all right, do that. So here's do. the point. Here's the point that I was making about Matt. I give Matt this job. I give Matt a little piece of halibut and a blowtorch and the blowtorch. And it's not like you're really going to see all the detail or anything. And I say, Matt, you could just be blow torching the top of this halibut. Matt stands and he goes like this. Uh, Do you have any sugar? (laughs) I go, yeah. So I give him some sugar. He sprinkles some sugar on the top of it. A couple minutes later, I see Matt's grab some chives that I've got in the back. He's chopping chives so beautifully you can't, like he's going to present them to the queen. Then he's looking for a zester. He wants to do some lemon on top. I love that even the fake shit that you do, you have to do 150%. That's right. It's That's fantastic. Do it passion. all the way. It is passion, That's man. That's great. You should be doing that. And you almost ended up in jail. That's another one. Still want to talk story. about that. No, we're not talking about it. All right, all right I got to cook the kitchen, something. Yes. Oh, I got to cook something. Ready? We're ready. No, Steve's not ready. Not really, but go ahead. Steve's not ready. Is I can go good? over there. Roll it. I'm 
screwed up. I'm all screwed up. My pants are falling down and my mic packs. See what I've got? I've got these two mic packs. Do you have your belt tonight? I do have a belt on, but I don't really have it tight enough. I have to. I have well, this. Well, that's because you Easy. don't this have an ass. Okay, Easy I don't there, have an Steve. ass. You don't have an ass to hold up your pants. Let me just move Chef Gordon's stuff out of my way. There's nothing He's wrong with having no ass, Mom. <laughs> I don't have an ass. I wish I did. Matt, let me ask you a question. Could you just cook the, the, uh, the sweetbreads like that? I mean, if I, just took these, if I just took them from raw here and threw them in a pan. Um, you couldn't cook them on the stove. You might be able to go like a low oven. But, you know, it's, it's just uh, blanching them with a little acid in the water, whether it's vinegar or lemon juice, helps to bind the proteins in the meat. And that's probably more than you really want to know. So I don't bind the proteins. I was just saying that to somebody yesterday. <laughs> don't go all chefy on me. Acidulated water. Whatever that means. All right. So look at here's. This is meant to just be super simple, and now it's gotten complicated because I've got the master over there. Here's these giant shrimp that we had yesterday. These beautiful giant shrimp that I should have taken out. Now that now I have to cut them up, and I feel bad about this, but they're too cold. And I'm never going to get anywhere that I want with them being ice cold like this. You had those yesterday after I left? No, no. I didn't mean had, had. I didn't mean had as in the biblical sense. I meant had as in I showed that they were in the freezer. Oh, okay. That's what all I meant. But now I need a stupid amount of garlic. Oh, and Matt's here. And Matt's here. This is my nightmare. Just go in the bathroom. And turn the fan on really loud so you can't hear me even talking. Don't overcomplicate it. I'm not going to. I'm using like four things here, man. Trust me. So I just need, I need garlic. He just got up from the couch. He doesn't have to go. Oh. <laughs> oh, with his oh, arms God. crossed. Even. You know okay. what? You don't be coming around here doing this <laughs> shit to me. I hate the guy already. You know what? And you're going to France. Just expect them to be assholes to you. Sit right there, Matt. Sit in one of those white yeah, chairs. Yeah, sit on the chair. <laughs> oh, he's going to be so sad. You know, I made this for Zach the other day, and it was really good, and now I'm going to just completely screw it up. And the man needs a drink. Bring your, bring your headphones over to you. <laughs> We're terrible hosts. The poor man needs a drink. Does he need another drink? He does. There's his bottle is... Oh, it's barely... It's barely there. Okay, so all I'm doing is just pressing a bunch of garlic. If I didn't have this pressure of Matt here in the room with me, I mean, I might, I might chop it, but I'm, there's no way I'm chopping. <laughs> not oh, that I can't. Needs a drink. Not that I can't chop. Right, Sam, where's the scotch or the whiskey or the bourbon? Yeah. What's he drinking? He's drinking big bottom whiskey. Uh, there's just stuff over here, Matt. If you need more alcohol. I was alcohol. gonna say, Matt, around the corner. Lower cupboard. There's a big selection. Okay, I've decided not to chop this just because. I thought you didn't have to chop it when you use the press. No, no, no. I meant I, meant I decided uh, if I was doing this um, with a little more time, I would not have crushed it. I would have chopped it with a knife. Mm. This really sucks. I'm hating this moment. Whatever it is. Okay. So look at you could do these big beautiful shrimp just like this. But they're just too cold for me and I don't feel like I'm going to get them where I want to get them. So I'm going to do this. I'm just going to cut them up. Look at Kelly's so concerned with you not having enough alcohol. Dennis, you want to something? No, that's. Am I looking for whiskey? You're like, ask what he wants. I don't know what he wants. Matt, what's your fancy? He's not the queen. Why are we, why are we kowtowing to <laughs> Chef Gordon? You don't know. We don't know much about what you're cooking. Can you tell us? Oh, bullet. Bullet's good. He'll like bullet. That's fine. Okay, so look, we've got this. Doing a live cast here, people. I know. Okay. Shh, shh. Enough. So a pan on the heat, nothing else in there. I want, do want some little green onion in here too at some point. 
little pressure, Matt. Don't worry about it, man. I'm going to be okay. I'm never going to talk to you again, but <laughs> it is what it is. Thank you for being here and making me all nervous. He now has a mic, so this is even Oh, now he's got a mic. <laughs> I'm like the least judging person you're ever going to meet. No, I know. And I love you for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you like when in someone else's restaurant? Um, service. Good service. You're about good service, yeah. right? Yeah. Who's, who's a harsher critic, you or young me? Surprisingly, it's me. Yeah. It's generally, I would say the otherwise in most aspects of our life. But, uh, you know, if I'm just going out to eat, to eat, I don't think about it. But if it's somewhere that we're curious about or new... We get a little severe. I hear you. Let me just change this pan. Sorry. I'm going to go a little smaller. Honestly, I don't really like having the guy here. <laughs> Enjoy the fact that I have Matt Gordon here in my kitchen because it would be the last time that it ever happens. Hey, you haven't, you haven't failed a dish yet. I know, I so know, I know. You're, you're pretty and you know what I did? I did this last time, and I'm going to do it anyways. And I did it, and I just sort of liked what it did. You just get so nervous around shots. I can't help it. You do a great especially, job. Man. Especially guys about. like this, right? What are you doing there? Watch. A little flour mm. um, helps, in my mind, <laughs> everything I'm saying. I'm questioning everything I'm doing. <laughs> Why are you being so weird right now? Honestly, I'm just. Because he is totally nervous. I can I'm completely totally see it. fucked up here. This is what he was just like doing with McCabe here last time and Matt. Oh, oh, when, no, I didn't, oh, I did. When you guys were here last time, I made, uh, I made the, um, tofu. the tofu thing. Right? Yeah, it's right. delicious. Yeah, thanks. I get this way when I cook for other chefs in my restaurant, too, so. Okay, I just dumped the garlic in here, right? I'm not going to give this that long because I think it's going to start to burn. See, I couldn't even say, I would have normally said it will start to burn. And I didn't say that. I said, I think it will start to burn, just in case the chef here has an opinion. So get this ready. I'm going to drop these guys in. They're going to taste good. Please, everybody just tell me they taste good, even if they suck. And you can see, right? Look at the color right here, Steve. Do you see that? See how fast the color changes on these things? All right. Okay, we're uh, we're not very far away from these things being ready. What's the name of this dish? This is called uh, some sort of shrimp scampi like esque thing. I don't really know. It didn't have a name when I did it for Zach the other night. I feel like I have flour. Do I have flour on my face? Is there anything up in here? You're good, bud. Okay, good. Thank you, Max. Thank you. And these huge shrimp, these whatever these were, these were like U10s, uh, 10 in a pound, 10 to 15 in a pound, I don't remember what they were. They were almost like little lobster pieces when I made this for Zach. I want to add a little... Um, oh, it smells delicious. Well, it will be. Vermouth. Really a little choice. bit of vermouth. <laughs> I got wow. a good choice. Did you see that? Yeah, I, got, I got a thumb up and a good choice. <laughs> okay, these things are, are pretty close. It smells great. You smell good? We're the smelling good. Smells That's good. Fantastic. I'm going to go right here. I just might, I think I just a touch, just a touch more butter right near the end. But we'll see. I don't know. Not necessarily. I might. <laughs> I reserve. Okay, good. Watch this. Here we go. Now a little vermouth. And and of course the deal when you're adding alcohol, right? If you do it if you do it off to the side, you're safe. If you tip it, there you go. Then it flames. And that really doesn't do a whole lot except sort of burn off a little of the alcohol faster than if you just left it. But it's showy. That's really just like a showy thing. Is that right? That's right. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. I want this... Uh, 
the green onions in here because I'm a green onion fanatic. I was thinking about it today. Honestly, I think I have a fetish for green onions. And we know fetish? that. Fetish? A fetish for green onions. I just can't stop. Is that the best way to describe it? Everything that I, I mean, almost Obsession? everything. I could put. Uh, <laughs> addiction. Maybe obsessions. Love. Maybe not a fetish, right? <laughs> fetish. Sounds like you get weird with green onions. <laughs> I don't, there's no hand play. There's no hand play <laughs> with green onions. Weirdo. If you know what I mean. He's a weirdo. Oh, what I didn't, no salt. I forgot. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> and a little pepper, and I didn't do that. Um, yes, generally you want to season early in the dish. Say that again? Generally you like to season early in the dish. I know, I said I forgot. He goes, I F know. you. <laughs> Hate your guts, thank oh, you. Oh, Sam. Okay, we're good. We're good, and here's what we'll do. We'll just do this, a little rice. Right here. Rice with shrimp scampi, that's interesting. That's what I like. I like rice, I like green onions. Okay, I have an Asian thing, and I have a shrimp, and I have a green onion thing, and they kind of go together. This is true. Right? We'll go right here. Back up for one sec there, big boy. And that's it. And they smell like, uh, they smell like little lobster pieces, right? <laughs> Sandy goes, now I'm going to picture Sam slapping himself with green onions and <laughs> loving it. <laughs> Just a little bit, you know, I, I can't, I can't, honestly, I can't help myself. Okay, that's it. There you go, stop the clock. No clock, there's never a clock, is there? And we don't care. How do they smell, Steve? Amazing. I don't they know smell good. It's amazing. They're good. Thank you. Fork? Yeah, that's amazing. You're not getting a fork. <laughs> <laughs> I was just being courteous anyway. Kiss my <laughs> ass. <laughs> Kiss my ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. What a... I get that <laughs> all man. the time. He's never coming back. I drank two bottles of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> all right. A simple bite. Mm-hmm. For regular civilians like us, we're gonna like it. Matt, I mean, all, there's all kinds of other things. Be honest, Matt. Real honest. It's delicious. It's great. There's all kinds of other things. Would you put it on your menu? <laughs> no. <laughs> because the Quest Cast Bay has Sam's French toast or whatever yeah. it is on the menu. They do, yeah, they have for years. Anyway. <laughs> all right. Make it. Uh, eat sweetbreads. But more importantly, if you don't want to make sweetbreads, go to Urban Solace and go to Solace in the Moonlight Lounge in Encinitas if you're here in San Diego. We love Matt Gordon. Thank you for being here, my friend. Thanks for having me. Have an amazing time in, uh, in Paris. I will. Yeah, we'll miss you. We'll see you when you come back. Uh, you guys have a great Memorial Day weekend. There's plenty of stuff on this website for you to go to and check out to make. Full videos that we've done from scratch teaching you what you can do, all right? We won't be here Monday because it's Memorial Day. We will be here Wednesday. Have a great long weekend. We'll see you next week. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks, Matt.